Making money while learning game development sounds like a dream. Not only is it a dream, but also something that is achievable. How you can achieve is applying the ways I will show you in this video. All of this will allow you to not give up on game development completely while making money. I have been learning and at the same time making money as a dev for the past 4 years, so these ways are validated to work. Now let's get started with the video. 1. Having a YouTube channel It is no surprise that of course you can make a lot of money if you become a content creator or a YouTuber. But actually, even though people know that here we have an amazing opportunity to make money while learning, people don't actually do that. And that is mostly due to the fact that they don't really find the time or they don't really want to dedicate 100% to basically turning on the camera and recording something. So here your main, your main aim after completely watching the video is to just here click this button over here and upload something about game development. Of course, you're gonna screw it up a lot of times. The first videos won't get a lot of views, but video after video you are gonna be improving so what should you be talking about in your first video for example basically look for some ideas that may work well in the niche that you are going for in this case game development you can take a look at other popular game development youtubers and just take a look at what ideas work pretty well for example person in my channel talking about jobs and money has been working quite fine that's what i'm uploading more and more videos about this topic but you will eventually get into the niche um of your channel but that will only happen if you start uploading okay you have to really break free from that loop of thinking that it's not gonna work it's not gonna work if you do not upload but i'm super sure and i can guarantee you that if you start uploading a bunch of content and you try to upload day after day you try to be better every day eventually you will start getting some traction it's not gonna be fast it's not gonna be easy but at the end it's gonna be worth it okay I have been posting videos for like one year or more than that okay and after that i have been able to let's say build a community start earning money etc and basically in youtube and content creator you have three main income sources you will have the ads revenue that youtube will pay you then you have sponsorships because brands maybe will start contacting you to promote their products that actually this way pays a lot of money a lot of money even more than ads revenue and finally even companies will start reaching to you for long-term opportunities because here you have loaded some interesting content about game development so maybe if you have for example here some tutorials about how to create different type of games maybe a company that is looking for a course instructor will contact you because they want a course instructor so yeah uh, youtube is an amazing source for getting a lot of money for getting a lot of contacts that may even offer you long-term opportunities so start creating your youtube channel right now posting a video that you think people will actually like and that will actually help them stay consistent start uploading at least one video weekly and eventually you will start seeing results that's that's a certainty two personal brand basically what uh, changes between a personal brand and having a youtube channel is basically that in a personal brand the product itself is you okay it isn't the the videos that you show it isn't the products that you sell it is you yourself and then of course you can start selling your own products or services but the main point of a personal brand is actually selling you as a service or selling you as a person basically so how you do this is basically having different profiles in different social medias for example you may have a youtube channel an instagram account and a tiktok account where you upload different type of content of course you are not gonna be uploading the same thing to youtube than to instagram for example because the format of the videos are super different but the thing is that you start getting a global presence in all social media so people when they look for your name you will appear literally everywhere so the key point here is to start building a community in all the platforms that you can and eventually you will have successfully built a community and when you build a community you also build trust to people so if you for example start um start selling some kind of course some kind of platform some kind of software some kind of game people are actually more willing to purchase your services or your products because they they see you as the product itself i know it is a little difficult to understand but eventually you will get it 
So basically, if you do have a global presence over the different social medias, what you're going to be able to, to do is to build an audience, to build a community, and then literally anything that you release could be completely purchased by some of them. If you are a game developer and you publish a game and then you post that you have just released a new game, you have already a community that is willing to play your game. If you release a platform where people can learn game development and you are the main teacher there, people are more willing to buy your course. So basically, if you do have a community in 2024, you're, go you're going to have a golden opportunity to make a lot of money while also learning on your own. So again, points one and two are super related, but not a lot of people are doing it because it is difficult, it's not fast, and you really have to stick to it for a long time. So there we do have an amazing opportunity for all of you to start actually building yourself as, a, as an interesting voice in all social medias. Moreover, when applying for a job, for example, if you do tell, for example, in your CV, in your portfolio, etc., that you have a personal brand, that you have a YouTube channel, and that, for example, you are selling there some kind of thing, it will also be an amazing plus that will actually make you stand out from the crowd. So it literally has advantages any way you take a look at it. 3. Peripheric Opportunities When we are learning game development, we aren't only learning about game development, actually. For example, when we are learning game development, probably we are also learning how to create assets. And assets are usually made with photo editing um, software such as Photoshop. And we can really apply that knowledge to also, for example, graphic design roles. Maybe it isn't that you are a game developer and you're going to take a part-time or full-time graphic design job. But maybe you do start getting some friends that need some kind of graphic design job and you can do it. Maybe there are some freelance clients that want to have some kind of this kind of work. You can take a look at some freelance platforms that actually have a lot of work available for graphic design, for example. And there will also be able to make money while learning. Both you are going to be learning graphic design and also game development. For example, with all this about personal brand, people want to have an Instagram profile, a YouTube channel, etc. So a service that is that has been super requested in the last few months has been logo and banner design basically having your logo and banner for your own brand and that is something let's say quite easy to do to learn and even more if you are a game developer and you do have some experience with photoshop graphic design is just an example okay but you i think that you will have the capability of thinking yourself what skills you have what software skills you have and how to set them properly to any prospect or for example even photo editing there is a lot of people that have their photos and they want to add some kind of effects. They want to erase some objects from their photo. And as you have uh, understanding of different photo editing softwares, you are super willing to actually take that service as well. Four, sell courses. Basically, by selling courses, you are going to be able to both teach what you are learning and also make money. So basically, you are doing two for one. You are both learning and making money. That's probably all also other golden opportunity and to sell courses there are a lot of platforms where you can actually sell your courses there are platforms such as udemy and there are other platforms where you can actually be the course instructor such as game dev tv or there are actually a lot of platforms where you can become their a teacher but well of course if you want to be a teacher firstly you do need to have quite a deep understanding of game development so that's maybe why being let's say a freelance course instructor is even a better option so here, for example, Udemy, when you take a look at the game development course, as you can see, you have tons, tons of them. And the good thing about here is that you create them just as a freelancer. So basically, you need to have no experience, no prior experience. And the good thing is that also you're going to be able to showcase that you have been here a course instructor at Udemy, for example. And you're going to be able to apply for different course instructor positions at different companies, okay? Here, for example, take a look at the different uh, platforms where these courses are sold. For example, Code Academy, Udemy again, Coursera. Uh, we, we have, again, Udemy. We have a tons, ton of options that we can take a look at in order to start selling our courses as a freelancer and then even have the, the long-term opportunity or working, uh, of working at a specific company in order to create there some courses. 
So with all these ways of actually making money while learning, you're gonna be able to accomplish that aim of making money while learning game development because all of these are ways that won't actually take 100% of your time. You can do them as a part-time thing. For example, having a YouTube channel, you can upload there as many uh, videos as you want. You don't have there like uh, an stipulated amount that you have to upload weekly. Um, the same thing with peripheric opportunities in graphic design. You don't really have to take a hundred of clients at the same time. You can have just one, two clients at the same time. And selling courses, the same thing. You can sell a, or actually publish as many courses as you want. So this will allow you to both make money and learn at the same time. So all of these are amazing opportunities that you can miss. So this is all for today's video. If you found it useful, please let me know in the comments, like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So that probably YouTube will recommend this video to more people. And hopefully I, I help them as well as I did with you. So I hope we can see each other on the next opportunity. So I hope you have an amazing day. Bye bye.